you talk to this one and they'll hear it. I just want to say thank you to all the pastors who traveled near and far to come and just to be with us in this very, very difficult, difficult time. God is good. When Ahmad was killed on the 23rd of February, I, the family had some of the darkest times of our lives. We asked questions, we got no answers. We, we submitted emails with no reply back. But in the midst of all that, I prayed. I asked the Lord to somehow tell me what happened to Quez. And my daughter talked to me like weeks after and she said, Mom, we don't even have an attorney. And I prayed, I told Jasmine, I said, when the Lord get ready for us to have an attorney, we'll get one. Amen. Not until then. Amen. I just want to say thank you. My heart is full of just joy in the midst of this broken heart. I just thank you guys, and I love you all. Let us hear from the father of our Marcus. I am. Number one, I want to give all glory to God. Because without him, all this wouldn't be possible. Amen. And we want to thank all our pastors from all over the world. Amen. They travel from all over the world to come support this family. Because it is a God. You know, we got to just sit back and say, hey, God is good yeah. all the time. Amen. No matter what the situation is, when you think he ain't with you, he with you. Amen. He with you. When you get so worried and can't roll no more, and you done gave up, guess what? He started carrying you. Yeah. You know, it's been a rough time for me, but I done rolled up. I'm a full-grown man now. Yeah. Right. 21 almost three times. So you got to grow up sometime and see what it really is Amen. in life. I'm not a little boy no more in the 20s doing wild stuff. You know, you, you look at life, you change. You go to get in turn, you change. But everybody still get that echo thing to you like you're still the same person. But God touched my life. Touched me. And turned my life around. When my children start coming in the world, I say, hey, it's time for me to change. I got the street. I start paying more attention to them. I real attention to them all the time. All the time. Their mama know that. They call me, I'm there. Yeah. I'm telling you, I real take it on. Yeah. I say, they, all right, when they call me, I'm gone. I don't care if I had to go across that bridge. Yeah. I was gone. Yeah. I went to see what was going on with them. Y'all yeah. all right? When I seen they was all right, I was good. Yeah. Their mama picked up slack that I was slacking in there, and I picked up slack when she was slacking there. Yeah. That's what parents do. Yeah. Come on, keep it real. God know that. So I'm just saying, thank you to all y'all people that came out here and support this family, yeah. all these pastors. Yeah. And we know Quay has been killed wrong, but look at the change he brought. Yeah. He brought a change with his life. God got his way of pulling that devil out the hat. God had to use his life to pull that devil out the hat. Yeah. <laughs> to make this world better for other kids. So other kids can run, won't get killed yeah. or shot at. Yeah. God did this. So I'm going to tell Quay, we love you. But quit resting now. Yeah. But guess what? That devil got to pay now. Right. Y'all got to pay. Y'all tore my family up. Y'all tore us up. But look what you did to your own. You tore yours up too. Because guess what? If you'd have had a heart, you'd have let them keep running. Yeah. You would have never took no gun to a baby. Uh uh, -uh what? 12 gauge shotgun? In a 357 Magnum? You took that to a baby. You shot a gun you took an animal down with. You shot him with. And you think you did something right? I hope God be with you, but I don't think he is. God, we're praying, people. God bless all y'all people, been behind my family. Yeah. And I thank y'all. God's good. Yeah, yeah.